We rolled up to LAX and Isabel opened up the vlogs. Jocelyn said hi to the camera for the first time and Mrs. Ma was introduced to the camera. We met a nice flight attendant and also met a celebrity. Then we waited on the runway for a long time and finally took off to Atlanta. Good morning, Atlanta. Wow. Early 516. We arrived at the Marriott Marquise. Jocelyn said hi to the camera for the second time and then she poked Wyatt. We went up to our rooms on the 33rd floor and watched the sunrise over the city. We walked a mile to Atlanta Breakfast Club, had our first southern meal, and Max reviewed it. It was good. We tried taking pics by Coca-Cola World, then went to the TSA meeting where we met this kid from Ohio, met these kids from Oklahoma, Jocelyn said her third high, Cena did crosswords, and Jocelyn almost cried. Then, everyone danced and sang in the streets, but Cena was harassed. <laughs> we woke up really early the next morning and watched Cena and Justin struggle to get ready, solve some math problems, built a stellar solar house, and Jocelyn waved for the fourth time. These are the nice people we met at the food shop. This is Jocelyn giving her fifth hello before our presentation. Hi, I'm Jocelyn. And this is our best Uber driver named Zach, who turned out to be named Kyle. The Uber driver's name was Kyle, and the kid we met earlier Earlier, I was talking to us from Indiana. Oh, with Natalie, like, oh, like, you know, honestly, not our fault. It's fine. We had the best barbecue of our lives at Fox Bros, and Max reviewed it. The pig is so succulent. We hopped in another Uber and watched Jocelyn go rogue. Kelly, Natalie, <laughs> I want to tell you that you're beautiful. Okay. Oh, Jocelyn. No matter what anyone tries to tell you, you're so beautiful. Oh. I makes me so sad when people don't know that they're beautiful because they are beautiful. And what other things do you want me to talk? about why because I really want to talk about something really deep and touch the hearts of many people. <laughs> you look like Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> Jocelyn did her sixth wave, but everyone else was really tired. This is the food from Gus's world famous fried chicken. This is Cena realizing the chicken is hot. This is Justin proving the chicken is juicy. And this is Isabel judging him. We got dressed and headed to the awards ceremony where Mrs. Ma rose to Justin. Uh, if you're trying to show it to Megan, you gotta change. We sang the national anthem. <laughs> won an award, went on stage, won a second award, caught a kid dancing, got celebratory ice cream, and did some celebratory rolls. Had our first mediocre meal, got caught in the rain, and dropped some sick beats at Pont City Market. Isabel and Max became very Japanese, and Max bought tons of stuff and modeled it for us. We went to a nice restaurant and ate overpriced pasta, then thanked the CVS workers who opened the bathroom for Jocelyn. Thank you. Isabel and Natalie attempted to make slime, and it did not turn out right. Guys, this is not slime. <laughs> we did some hair things, then some face things. We went to the original Chick-fil-A dwarf house and debated about conspiracy theories. Everyone's arguing. I'm just sitting in my corner eating my food. Justin dived through a small door and we got stuck on the Marta on the way to the airport. The conductor hit a squirrel, unfortunately. They're planning its funeral. Justin said hi to the camera for the seventh and last time, and after six days of good content, we finally flew back home.